Greetings. Let's discuss six ways to increase geo-literacy. Geo-literacy. All of the big issues the world is facing today are fundamentally tied to space and place. Space and place. They are geographic issues. To grapple with these issues requires a population then that can assess and use geographic information to make wise decisions. In short, a geo-literate population. So, how can educators, researchers, and practitioners actively promote the inclusion of geographic knowledge, skills, and perspectives in education and society? I offer the following recommendations. Number one, tie geo-awareness to the need for geography education. A growing awareness of the geographic nature of problems from local to global scales is evident, yet the realization that these issues can be better understood using the geographic perspective seems lacking. The professional community could take this opportunity to explain to the public what geography really is, why it is important, and how it can help society grapple with these issues. For example, as geographic perspective, content, and skills are becoming more valued by other disciplines on the university campus, geographers can open the dialogue to interdisciplinary pathways of research in sociology, in business, in, in health, in history, etc. Number two, emphasize that maps are not just reference documents. Many still regard maps largely as reference documents that are useful solely for looking up where something is. Where is Yemen? Pull it down from the wall map. Oh, there it is. Okay, next. No, the maps are much more than that. Our community must demonstrate how maps can be a, a doorway to discovery, a doorway to discovery about the physical and cultural world and local communities in which we live. Number three emphasize that digital maps are usually more useful than paper maps. Paper maps are limited. They cannot be easily updated, modified, embedded, or transported. We must focus on the advantages of digital maps over paper maps. Number four, emphasize that maps are not just for geographers. Maps are useful to broad sectors of society. They are valuable to epidemiologists studying the spread of diseases climatologists studying climate change, or business people citing new stores. Maps are essential tools for studying issues and solving real problems. Number five, focus on career skills. Geotechnologies have been identified by the U.S. Department of Labor as one of three major growth fields for the 21st century. The use of GIS and web mapping technologies build skills not only in technology, but also in organization communication, critical thinking, and other skills needed by government, the private sector, academia, and nonprofit organizations. Number six, help students engage with the tools. The bulk of geotechnology training at the secondary and university level over the past 20 years have been, has been geared toward educators rather than students. While this has the advantage of working with professionals who could in turn impact thousands of others, educators must realize that it is even more important for students to learn how to use these tools. So those are six ways to increase geo-literacy. Thanks.